Hello everybody, today we are going back through another big inventory box. Now this is from the um, same retailer that we got the last big, big inventory box from. Um, so this is from Fashion Without Trashing. Uh, so it's going to be a multi-part series. Um, don't know how many parts, probably six, last time it was six. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome back. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, um, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife, Angelique. Um, it's called The Deegans, and uh, links to that and our um, email, links, just all the links are below. Um, all right, so this is a 111 um, piece box from Fashion Without Trashing. Um, she, from time to time, does these big boxes. Um, she doesn't sell them through Poshmark. She does them through, um, I think she did, does it through her um, Instagram account. Um, but anyway, my wife bought another one because the last one we bought actually sold enough to where it paid for itself. And now um, we have plenty of items left from it. And every item we sell from that box going forward is going to be pure profit. Um, I think actually we profited even a little bit off it already. A anyway, um, we're going to look at this box. All right. Up first, we have a Myrrh um, skirt. Uh, now this is a small, and um, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so you can see this. And it is a black skirt. Now, um, it kind of has this jersey mesh texture to it. I don't know if that's really showing up there. Um, but that was kind of unique. Uh, so, and it kind of has like a, almost like a padded feel. Like maybe it's like a dress you'd wear or skirt you'd wear for playing sports, like contact sports. Uh, I don't know. Um, what's what sports do you wear skirts, padded skirts while you're playing? I don't know. Roller derby. Yeah, we'll call it the roller derby skirt, even though I'm pretty sure they wear um, like short, like striped skirts for roller derby. I don't know. I've never been to a roller derby. I've only seen the movie Whip It. Okay, moving on. We have a Victoria's Secret pink. Um, and I believe this is called a... Uh, I can't... There we go. Um, this is a extra small. I believe this is called a Sherpa. Um, but it's a, uh, it's a fleece, we'll just call it a fleece jacket. Um, now it has drawstrings all over it, so it's adjustable around the neck and waist. Um, the arms are elastic, so they stretch out. Um, yeah, so pretty adjustable. Um, and it did seem a little bit big for an extra small, but I guess it is a jacket, so it's meant to be worn over your clothes. Um, Oh. oh, and it's also red. <laughs> so, pretty, pretty good jacket. Um, it does have the, uh, another thing, it has the kangaroo pouch in the front, so um, just a nice comfy jacket, and it's a Victoria's Secret, so those tend to do all right for us. Um, we did get a whole um, haul of Victoria's Secret stuff right around Valentine's Day, and I believe that in Almost everything that we got from that haul has sold um, since then. All right, up next we have a cruise club. Uh, this is a flower poncho. Um, it is a petite, um, I assume. There's a little P instead of an S. I assume the P is for petite. Um, and see it is a poncho. Now the flower portion of the description comes from the pattern that is knitted in there. As you can see, if it'll focus, there we go, you can see the flowers um, kind of patterned throughout that. But other than that, it's just a solid color 
poncho. So, I guess that could be worn um, worn over something light, over something. Yeah, you could wear it in the probably probably more of a fall piece than a uh, summer piece, but um, it should do well. All right, up next we have a sleeveless. This is Laundry by Shelly Seagal. Um, this is a size 12 black dress. Now it does have these um, kind of lace stripes going across vertically. Um, but other than that, it is a black dress, which is always nice because, like I said in the past couple of videos, black dresses, essential pieces. So, uh, can I go there? See the whole, see the whole thing. Um, so, essential pieces, always good to have in your closet because they will sell regardless of the season, um, and they're pretty, pretty um, trend-proof too. So you don't have to worry about them going out of style. Um, they're always going to be in style. All right. Up next is going to be the first piece in what I think is has been a trend so far in this box at least of the half of it that i've shot already it is a slim fit medium men's shirt uh this one is j crew and it is kind of a light red maybe a pink um and the trend here is going to be shirts that i might end up getting um so That is my size. Um, I do have a, I do have a other um, J Crew Slim Fit that my wife got from. I believe it, she got it from. Um, it was either from a Thread Up Men's Clothing Box, or from, or she did buy me a couple shirts from um, Becky Park, um, who is one of our subscribers. Hi. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, uh, my size, um, men's clothing doesn't really do too well for us, and uh, already I know that this will be a great fit, so I might end up keeping that one. I might also end up keeping this other J. Crew Medium. Um, now this is a button-down, short-sleeved um, shirt. I don't know if this would technically classify as an Aloha shirt because of the um, kind of tropical pattern, it being fish and not plants, but um, Aloha shirts or Hawaiian shirts um, are something I enjoy to, are something I enjoy wearing. They breathe and they're, they're kind of festive and fun, much like me. So that is the second shirt I might be keeping and now for a third shirt I might be keeping uh, this is another men's uh, this is H&M uh, I can't really see oh there focused and this this is um, an Aloha shirt uh, because it does have the flower pattern on it um, so this one is not buttoned down um, this is buttoned up because it doesn't have the buttons on the collar like the previous one and um, yeah it's my size and I do tend to wear Hawaiian shirts I like to wear them to uh, I wear them to work specifically on Fridays because Fridays are Hawaiian shirt Fridays so if you want to wear a Hawaiian shirt and a pair of jeans um, feel free to participate all right and up next is something that I might not wear. Um, this is a Lululemon. Um, uh, it's one of those workout tank tops. Um, this does have the uh, built-in shelf, um, so the built-in sports bra shelf. Um, now, it doesn't have a size or material tag on it, um, but based on how it fit on the mannequin, I'd say it's probably a small. Um, I did an entire box of Lululemon of sizes ranging from extra small to large. And so I kind of have a good feel for about how they fit on the mannequin. 
Um, they actually all do fit uh, with the large being loose, like loose and kind of hangs a little bit, and the extra small being like just barely squeezes into it. Uh, but this uh, is a squeeze, but not a super tight squeeze, so I think it is a small. Um, and Lululemon, that this brand has done very good for us recently. Uh, we had a consignment store box that was all um, Lululemon, and everything from it has is now gone. So they're all out of our closet. Now this piece um, does have one flaw on it. Um, so there are some um, stains. I don't know if that's going to show up with the lighting, but there are some stains um, around the uh, around the pits. So I don't know. Um, maybe I'll try like some some of our uh, super cleaners. Try to get these washed. Um, or maybe we'll sell it um, at a reduced price. I don't know. Um, that'll be up to that'll be up to my wife um, when she goes to list it. Oh. All right. Up next is a. Uh, this is a new with tags. S O S P. So sip. Uh, I'm sure that's abbreviated for something. Uh, anyway, this is a flower dress. Now it does have this um, extra wrap in the front. Um, it does tie and zip in the back, as you can see right there's a the little zipper, um, which does work. <laughs> and maybe it'll say the full name of the place on the material tag. Let's see. Um, size US4. Oh, it's A. Okay, I was reading that upside down. It's as so. Asos. A S O S. Um, I think we did have one other piece. Uh, I think we did have one other piece from them in our closet. So I don't know. I don't think we've sold any of this brand, but um, it's a nice dress and it's pretty thin. Um, so it should do, should be a great piece for the summer, a um, little sun-ish sundress. Um, so that should be all right. Okay, up next we have another piece of Lululemon. And just like before, no size tag. But again, um, actually this one I think is maybe more of a medium. I don't know, it fits a little bit differently on the mannequin just because it doesn't have the built-in um, it doesn't have the built-in sports bra on the inside, um, but this piece has no stains, um, so it should do really well. Um, yeah, Lululemon is just one of those brands that does well for us, which is a bit odd because um, I, I know my wife watches um, some of the other resellers on YouTube um, just to try to get a feel for um, what's trending and what's what's selling for other people and. Uh, I know I've heard that Lululemon is supposedly doesn't sell well anymore. Supposedly it's oversaturated, but pff, works for us. So, you know, every clientele is different. Okay. Up next, we have a, um, let's see, I believe this was a Jade, um, Laura Jane Active, size small. Um, your active life starts here. Okay. And this is a another one of those um, workout tank tops. Um, they have the, has just the one strap in the back, although it's actually two straps that are sewn together. Um, it does have a little bit of a jersey material on the back to give it a little bit more breathing. Oh yeah, this is another um, really nice, really nice piece of uh, workout wear. Um, so it should do it should do nicely. You know, it's not just the uh, it's not just the Lululemon that active wear that sells. All right, now we are back to. Pieces that I may keep. This is an 
American Rag Medium. Um, and this is a button, button up shirt, long sleeved. Um, it's got a pattern. And it's another, and as with all of these, um, as with all these men's shirts, you can tell they're men's shirts by which side the buttons are on. So if the buttons are on the right side, um, they're on their men's shirts. If they're on the left side, they are women's shirts. Or at least that's what I've been told. I could be completely off base on that, but I'm pretty sure my limited fashion knowledge includes, includes that. All right, so that'll be something um, that is long sleeve. So I might, um, I'll probably see if my wife wants to list that. If she does, and it ends up not selling for a while, maybe I'll take it and go. You know what, babe, this is mine. <laughs> okay, and another medium men's shirt, slim fit. Uh, this one is by Club Monica, and it is a gray button down um there actually are buttons around the color so that makes it a button down now this is a little bit thicker material so this is definitely something that would be warm would be for um fall um maybe even winter um because it's so thick a uh, very soft material too uh so again um men's clothing hasn't done the best for us but we haven't really listed a whole lot of it um so i really don't know how well this will do i know that club monaco is a pretty good brand um so maybe maybe this will sell um maybe it won't um but i might i mean th this this box might just be my wardrobe for um, the foreseeable future all right and now we come to the final stretch of the box where you're gonna hear this crinkling noises because all of these came in bags uh these are all going to be Fashion Active Lab, um, which I assume means it's active wear. Uh, but this is a, this first one is a long sleeve shirt. Um, it is a, let's see, the size is a, size is a large. Um, yeah, and these are all new with tags and new with bags. So bagged and tagged. And this is a two-toned shirt, the top half being green, the bottom half being white. Um, yeah, a lot of stretch to it, which is not surprising considering that, well, 4% Lecrae, 96% um, cotton, made in Peru. Yeah, um, anyway, this has a nice stretch to it, so definitely um, something that's flexible, definitely something that could be... Uh, worn for workout wear maybe uh maybe for doing some jogging in the winter um since it is long sleeve so it would be rather hot to jog in in the uh warmer months all right so i will put these in the bag after the video uh, you don't need to hear all the crinkling um all right up next is another Fashion Active Lab. Uh, this is a size small, but you see it is the same style shirt. Uh, really same amount of stretch because it does have the same um, materials. Um, this one being dark in the bottom, light on the top. Um, but other than that, uh, same style shirt. All right. And I will put that in the bag after the video. Okay, up next, the, and this is going to be the last item for this, um, it's going to be the last item for this uh, video. The last item is a Fashion Active Lab large pair of sweatpants, yoga pants, um, definitely active wear pants. Um, and the reason I say this is going to be the last item for this video, even though there are two more items in the box, is because there are two more identical pairs of pants. Um, large, black sweatpants. Um, so, really don't need to show them. I can just keep this up for, you know, slightly longer than usual. Uh, 
and you'll get the feeling. Um, or I could just do this. And there we go. All right. So, activewear. Um, activewear, actually, you know, I don't know if it's just the Lululemon or if it's all activewear. I think it's all activewear in general. It just tends to be um, really good for us. So, I'm definitely happy about all the activewear that was in this box so far. Um, and <laughs> it's, it's activewear and shirts that are my size. Now, I've shot a couple, I've shot about half of this box so far, so I have a couple more um, items um, to do videos on, but we're going to cut it off here. Um, so, so far I'm pretty happy with this box. Um, I definitely like the few pieces of Lululemon that are in here. Um, that just has been a really good brand for us. And the Fashion Active Labs, um, again, activewear just seems to be another thing. It's something that's doing really well for us right now. So definitely think we'll be able to sell those fast. Um, now the, the other things, um, the, the shirts, the men's shirts, I don't know how well those will do for us. Um, just because I don't really think we've put it, we've listed enough men's wear to actually have any idea of how well it sells for us. Um, so, but all the menswear so far has been my size menswear. So if it doesn't sell, I have um, I have a brand new wardrobe for the for the fall, and I'm just I'm happy about that. Uh, the other stuff um, I really like. I know that pink um, fleece. I think that'll do really well for us. Um, I think that's going to do good. Um, the Victoria's Secret stuff is has sold well for us and that that sweater that, that sweater jacket um whatever you want to call it that pullover pullover that's the word i'm looking for those um those i think uh will do really good in the fall winter months um because that's when it's colder all right enough rambling i like i've liked it so far very happy um, now, if you have liked this video, be sure to um, go below and hit, hit some of the things, hit the subscribe or the thumbs up or enter a comment, um, hit the bell, um, that does something. Um, just, just avoid that thumbs down thing, um, that, that we don't like, we don't like that button. Um, so, alright, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.